Hey, Zoe, this is Kenny here. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm good. My apologies for the uh, delay there. Um, you did call. I did see that you just called, and I clicked the answer button, and the call dropped before I even began. So, no, I, it might be, I have terrible service right now, but that's all right. Yeah, so um, I appreciate you being on the show. Congratulations, first and foremost, on being on PWI's Top 50 Women Wrestlers of 2017. That's pretty awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. So what was your reaction when you first saw your name on the list? Uh, I actually didn't even notice. Um, it was addressed to me by um, the promoter of Rise. Um, and it, it's just it's just a cool. I, it's never I've never been on the top 50 on the last 10 years of wrestling. So for, for it to finally happen is actually pretty cool. It was, it was pretty exciting. There's a lot of people that are actually really happy for me. So it's, it's pretty cool. So, you know, when it comes to lists like that, people are going to, you know, it, I guess that some have their criteria to it. Um, I guess being on TV is one thing. Being on big name promotions on the indie scene. Plenty of women from the Mae Young Classic was on there. Um, Oscar was ranked number one. Um, and, you know, fans... Being fans, they're going to be, oh, this person is too high. Uh, this person is too low. And there are people that are missing on that list that have been qu just as active as those on the list. Um, like, do you get it? Like, how, how do you re re respond to the people that react the way that they react when it comes to a list like PWI Top 50? I mean, I haven't had anybody negative, you know, be negative toward, you know, me being placed in there at all. Um, I mean, everybody has their opinion. It's just like any other form of you know, anything, you know, in, in the world at this point. Like, everybody has an opinion. And, you know, of course, it's just a matter of who's at the right place at the right time. And, you know, every year it's a different group of girls. Not not everybody's in that list every year. There's girls who were in that list last year who weren't in there this year. There's plenty of girls who deserve to be on that list that just weren't. That's the, the the difference is is you know over the last few years there's just been so many girls uh, added in the in you know, indie wrestling and in wrestling in general that the list just it just the need the, the list needs to grow it needs to be a, a larger number just to add to make up for all the other girls that weren't able to make it because it's a handful you guys have a top 500 and we only have top 50 but it's still great to be part of it and I'm not gonna complain about it whatsoever. Very happy for you. You know I've been a. I've been a fan of yours for quite some time, and thank you. And you are, and I've seen some of your matches online. Um, very talented competitor, you know, giving it all she got, and um, and uh, she Zoe's got got it, people. Um, so people need to recognize. Um, I appreciate that. So. Um, how would you best describe your WrestleCade weekend was last week at uh, North Carolina? You was part of Queens of Comeback, I believe. Um, yeah. So how was the weekend for you overall? Overall, it was a great weekend. Um, my first WrestleCade experience, my first Queens of Combat, uh, you know, my debut with them. Um, overall, it was it was it was a, a, as good of a weekend as I could ask for. It was definitely rewarding. I, I hope to look forward to doing it again next year. Uh, Sue Young was there. Mia Yim was there. Um, man, the list goes on and on. It was, Queens of Combat, they always have great shows for what people told me, been telling me. And, you know, they're one of the premier promotions for women wrestling. So they always do an outstanding job. And to be a part of WrestleCade, when you feel like a kid at a candy store, you got all these legendary wrestlers. And you have all these top names on the indie scene all in one building for a couple of days. You know, it's a chance for wrestlers to catch up with people for good times. So uh, I'm glad that everyone that went to Wrestle K had a great time. So I got to go to Wrestle K at some point in my life. You definitely do. Try it next year. It's definitely a great time. You'll, you'll enjoy the experience. So um, 2017 for you. Um, how would you best describe your year as far as moments that stand out to you, matches that you've had? How would you best describe your 2017? 
uh, for me personally, this uh, 2017 has been the best year of my career. Um, I've been able to travel internationally, wrestle for, you know, big promotions. Um, I don't necessarily have certain matches that stand out as much as um, just this the opportunities that I've been getting this year have just been, you know, very rewarding. I was I debuted in England and the UK uh, with Bellatrix and Rise back in September. Um, I debuted with Shimmer at the end of 2016, but got to be able to, you know, maintain working with Shimmer throughout the year this year. Um, and I've just been traveling a lot more. Um, just very rewarding working with, you know, being able to get in the ring with girls who I haven't been able to step in the ring with prior to this, you know, this year. Uh, you know, Kaylee Ray, uh, Ali, you know, I'm tagging with Rosemary, uh, with Rise. I mean, just a bunch of girls who I don't get a chance to, to be on shows with at all, let alone, you know, get a chance to step in the ring with. It's just this year in general has just been the best year so far for me. I look forward to where 2018 brings me. Speaking of Shimmer, you was there a couple of weeks back, and that was prior to WrestleCade. Um, and a lot went down at the uh, Shimmer. They've been around for a very long time. Um, mm-hmm. Big shout out to Lexi Fife. Um, she she started something small and it's turned into a juggernaut and for women's wrestling and you know and for people who has not had a chance to watch shimmer wrestling whether it's in person or maybe on pay-per-view it's definitely a must see um what what was the experience like for you for shimmer uh, a couple of weeks back uh, you know, I know Dave Prizak has a lot to do with with Shimmer. He is like the made uh, the main guy and in, in, in charge down there. Um, but you know, just like I said, this is only the uh, the third third or fourth taping that I've done with these guys and, and these girls for that matter. And it's just a, the experience gets better and better. The crowd is always um, you know respectful and into the shows, and you know the, the fans come to to be entertained and they come to to see their favorite wrestlers and. And they they appreciate and respect all of us that show up there. And of course, like I said, the, the girls always go in there and, and work hard. And you know, it, all the girls who do get on these shows deserve to be there, and, and plenty more on top of that. But uh, they they just they, there's no end in sight for the future of women's wrestling, and and, and Shimmer definitely has a, a top hand in, in helping that talent stand out. You know, for the promoters out there, you know, with the year winding down, and we get to 2018. Who are some wrestlers out there, um, especially on the indie scene, that you haven't had a chance to go up against but would like to have a match with someday? Um, I actually just had a match recently with Mercedes Martinez, uh, first time ever, but I would definitely love to do that again. Um, I've never gotten a chance to step in the ring with like Sue Young, um, Candice LeRae. I mean, there, there are so many girls. And like I said, with, with Shimmer, I've been able to kind of – to you know, limit that list a little bit and step in the ring with more and more girls over the years. Um, I mean, I, I, I throwing a list off the top of my head, it just doesn't do justice. I have to actually like get a good solid list. There's so many talented girls out there right now. Just, you know, girls that are just starting out a year or two years in, who still deserve to be, you know, on, on top indie shows and, and deserve to get some recognition. Um, but I mean, at this point, I, I'm, I just want to get in the ring with anybody and everybody, you know, it's not to be, uh, you know, neglective of the question. I just, you know, I, I'm to the point where I just I want to be I want to be with you know in the ring with anybody who I can and, and gain experience and exposure. That's understandable. Um, Mercedes Martinez, she's uh, she's been around for quite a while and she still performs at a high level, um, and she's very damn good. And then then she, longevity, you know, and she's had her share of injuries. But uh, she bounced back, and it's like it's like she never left. So um, Mercedes is just a she is as advertised. She is that damn good. Um, so uh, for you, for you, Zoe, um, what is, what are some upcoming show for the remainder of 2017 that you have coming up that people need to keep an eye on? Uh, 2017 is starting to wind down. Um, tomorrow, uh, this this Saturday, it was Friday and Saturday. Tomorrow, I'm uh, doing a show for Rise, um, and then on uh, Saturday for AWS, both shows in Southgate, California. Um, looking forward to both of those events. I'm working with Lufisto for the first time ever, so that's definitely uh, I'm looking forward to that uh, a lot. Um, and then next weekend, I believe uh, Saturday the 9th, I think the date is. I'm wrestling back in uh, Ohio and, and 
uh, Mid Ohio with uh, AWSA promotions, and then uh, on that Sunday, I believe the tenth, I'll be in Maryland for Fight Pro Wrestling, and then uh, I'll be finishing out uh, the end of the year with uh, Mega Championship Wrestling in Elyria, Ohio, which is near Cleveland, in a uh, four-way tables, ladders, and chairs match. And then uh, my last show for the year so far is uh, Real Action Pro Wrestling in Youngstown, Ohio. So check out all those shows to check out Zoe Sky. Support indie pro wrestling. Support women's wrestling. Um, And there's a lot of talented women out there more than ever before um, on the indie scene especially. So everybody needs need to check out these shows whether in person or, or pay-per-view um for people that want to keep in touch with you social media wise why don't you go ahead and uh promote your social media links facebook twitter instagram any other links people need to check out absolutely you know zoe sky on all social media on my facebook and instagram it's zoe sky official and twitter is zoe sky pro so check out those links absolutely uh again congrats on an incredible 2017 for you um and 2018 sky's the limit even more for you so hopefully i live in kentucky and i used to live in ohio once upon a time i i lived in cincinnati for seven columbus for four so i I still have good memories there so, you know, I may have to go to Ohio or something, or maybe some of my Kentucky wrestling promoters out there book Zoe Sky and bring her to the Bluegrass State and, 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 and let her showcase what she can do against Kentucky's best. I'm just putting it out there. Uh, <laughs> I'm all for it. Let's, let's, let's make it happen. So, well, it was great chatting with you, Zoe. Thank you so much for the time continue success and um you have a good night have a great evening thank you you too